Hello YouTube friends, welcome to The Last Homely House. Uh, I'm Kate and today I want to tell you about an update on a project that I started with you a little while ago. If you saw the video where my friends Jan and Jane started to select fabric for what I call the terry quilt, which are these little blocks, in fact I'm sewing them together now so I'll show you, that make up this amazing colour wash quilt with these tiny little scraps of fabric. It was a really nice video. The girls were really excited to get on and continue with their project. And how I've done it is I've sent them home with lots and lots of scraps of fabric and loads of little binding clips. And what they're doing is they're matching together the colours that they like with the centre colour, clipping them together like this, and then they bring them back to me and I stitch them together like so and then I give them this this pile back and Jan and uh, Jane presses them this is the way they've distributed the tasks I think Jane presses them open and Jan trims them she's got a little cutting mat and a ruler and a rotary cutter and uh, sh um, she's cutting these to the size which is three and a half inches to finish at four inches and so this is the latest batch that I've received and I'm stitching them together now and then I'll take them to their house and take some more fabric. This is how it's working and it's working really very well indeed. And so I, this morning, I'm just going to stitch together um, this little pile, liberate these clips so that I can take them back to them and we'll start all over again. We've got it in the quilt panning notebook. I think we need about 820 of these blocks. And we've got maybe um, coming up for 300, coming up for that kind of thing now, I think. And so um, it's gonna take us a while. There's not gonna be a quick finish on this one, but that's fine. I don't like quick finishes. I like thoughtful finishes. So I'm gonna sew some of these together now. And then once all this pile's done and ready for them to process, I'll take them round and you can, um, you can come with me. Um, here at Jan and Jane's house, I've just brought the bits of fabric and some soup and they're making... What are you doing? Uh, we're, we're making, making cheese scones. scones. They're going to make cheese scones for supper. 
So I'm very lucky, aren't I? But the reason why I'm here is I brought all those little bits of uh, fabric that they've sewn together already. Oh, look, we're getting proper cheese scones. Oh, do you want the ones I've done, Kate? Uh, in a minute, don't worry, you get on with the cheese scones. I think this is more important. You see, it opens Just at that page. Put the light on it's a bit... Yeah, but it opens at cheese scones page. Yeah, of course it does. Mine does as well. Mine does as well. So you're making this one. Now you just carry well, we, on. Well, we kind of make our own, but we just like, have it open. Yeah. Okay. So I'm here in their kitchen then, and, and they've got, I'll show you their, introduce you to their little dog in a minute, but they're also looking after. Um, another dog, Jane's sister's dog at the moment. So we've got two dogs um, uh, here. And we're just going to settle in now for a little bit of supper and then we're going to uh, look at the sewing project that we're doing. This is very friendly, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it's very friendly. <laughs> I might just turn the camera off and chat to my mates and we'll catch up with you in a minute with more... Um, more of their quilt. So I'm here in Jan and Jane's absolutely lovely kitchen and we're back here to make to make progress on this quilt of yours. So what have you been doing in the meantime? You... Well I've been dancing at Sidmouth, I've been clog dancing in my beautiful red skirt. So um, Jane's a clog dancer and over on Patreon I remade her clog dancing skirt, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> And I love it. And you like it now? Yeah, so it's I wore it all week. At Sidmouth? At Sidmouth, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. The oldest folk festival in England. Really? And no, Europe. Europe. In Europe? Mm, yeah. Sidmouth. Sidmouth. Continuous? Yes, 70, 70 years. There was, 70 a, there years was a birthday cake and everything. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you've had a lovely summer then. Yes, right? and yeah. then we came back and we've been staying over with my mum because my sister's away and... Oh, oh, and we've got some scones coming And we've up got here. an extra dog. So oh, yeah. there's a couple of dogs roaming around the place at the moment. One of them is Doris, who is... A, what is Doris? Doris, come here. She's a Border Terrier, um, which is very local to this area and the borders of Scotland. So, um, Doris, who's a Border Terrier. Yep, and then we have uh, Tess, who is a... She was a dumped sure. dog. She was a rescue yeah. dog. Yeah. And so, so you're looking after her for uh, ten days. For, t for a few days. So you've got two dogs. We've got two dogs in the place at the minute. Uh, so oh. that's always that extra fun. Tess thinks that the the microphone is a ball. Yeah, she thinks <laughs> it might be a gerbil or something. So we've got we've <laughs> got the mic here, and Tess is trying to get up to. Oh, great. Okay. So what sort of progress uh, have we been making with the quilt project? Well, we did take some fabric with us camping. Did you really? Yes, we did. To Sidmouth? No. No. To uh, the Solway. You took... <laughs> I think that's above and beyond, isn't it? You yeah. took fabric to the Solway. Yes, yeah. so we were camping, yeah. Yeah, so I did just to trim. So I've been trimming okay. and sorting and okay. pairing. Well, I've got some your made ones. So these were the pairings you gave me last time. And these are the made ones here. So I which, need to iron them. Yeah, so these need pressing open yeah. and then trimming to the size we're making. And I've got loads of these in this basket. It's not completely full, but there are a lot, look. Um, and I just sewed all these together. And so what I oh this are a lot actually. How I've long did it take you to do all of these? Um, I just do them in between times, doing other things, because I just have them next to the sewing machine. Mm. And when I've got a few minutes, I'm waiting for something or other. I just do a few more. So there are a load There's actually. Loads. There are. Mm. But we well, do. I can't wait to count how many we've done. Well, we do need a lot, don't we? Yeah. Do so we have a record of how many we? We do in Kate's quilting book. I haven't brought the quilting book, the <gasps> quilt planner's notebook. Oh. Sorry, it's at home. But never mind. I think, because I, I know that I've got some fabric in here as well. So, um, for you to do some more pairings. Mm, we've got a big so how, of... yeah, how I left you last time, that's all of them I think, was um, to pair up some stuff mm -hmm. while I sewed these. Yeah. And then you have a lot of bits and pieces of scraps of fabric mm. to do some more pairings for me. Yeah. So that's, and, and I see there are some there. So we've done some pairings. I, I just used up all your pegs. Right, so um, I brought you some more quilting yeah, clips. Yeah, yeah. We like quilting um, clips. I pegs, like the yes. quilting yeah. clips as well. So I but what I wanted to ask you was, how is the pairing going 
with your completely <coughs> different ideas of colour. It's interesting. I'd love to know. No, but, but I think I'm probably more aware than Jane. I don't know, because I've been going through them more recently. Yeah. But I've come across some that I know I haven't paired. Yes. And I've looked at them and thought, oh, that's nice. So, oh, so, good. So, yeah, so some colour combinations so that I, I wouldn't have chosen. Could I pick one up then? And either one of you would uh, be able, to, the dogs are having a f fun time, would be able to say, oh, that one's mine. That yeah, one. yeah, that's, that's mine. Jan, yeah. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Jan, Jan wouldn't choose cats. Uh, and no, crocodiles. No, no, no. no. Okay, so I think now we've, reinvested a bit of energy into this project what we now need to do is um separate those two dogs somehow and um <laughs> they can go in the other room. <laughs> no they're fine and what we need to do then is just reinvigorate this project uh, because as soon as i've got pairings like i have here i'll just put them in this basket next to my sewing machine and i'll just pick them up and do them as and when <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and now we can. Um... I need to ask you. Yes. So this one, I think I might have asked you this before and I've forgotten, it is a little bit too small yes. on one edge. It is. Are we going to just tag well, something we... else? So, with that one then, uh, if we got our little ruler somewhere. Thank you. So, if we put that one underneath the ruler. Yeah, that's a, at least a quarter of an inch too small. So, what we could do is. Um, if you wanted to, and I love doing this, you could just run a little bit of, not even that fabric, but red fabric, mm -hmm. or a bit of orange fabric up there, just to extend it on, onto one of the shorter ends there. And so actually that's something that I want to talk to you about, uh, about the, um, your pinning together. So I picked that one up, my heart sinks, because I know I'm not going to make one out of there. I need you to be a bit more generous okay. with your cutting. All right. You've got plenty of fabric. Don't think you're okay. saving fabric. All right. because I in thought fact, I was a little bit too generous initially. So no, I, I think I... generous is better than skimpy, okay. because I'm going to struggle to make that into a... Uh, that one, on the other hand, perfect. Right. Okay. okay. So this one is just like, it's, it's a little bit too thin. So that one will have to have some extra on the or sides. I just or... whiz it <laughs> you don't get, you don't get <laughs> you don't get me doing that one at all um I, I don't know I'll give it a try but I, I just I've noticed as I've been sewing these together they've that, got smaller uh, and smaller yeah yeah they really mm -hmm. have yeah. and so if you think you're doing me a favor by saving me fabric you're really don't. not okay you're all just right. not yeah okay so shall we press these then yes I'm and sure. get a little bit of a cutting own. station going yeah, and I'm going to have a look at these dogs see that's lovely isn't it I don't not think that is that you could be me mm. <laughs> could be you mm. um is this the only box you've got yeah right I'll so tell you what I don't like I don't like having to prop my iron up every time in between oh don't if like only me. Santa brought me a, an, a, a pink, a pink, a lisso iron. Exactly. Like Kate, like Kate has. Santa can hear you. Santa can hear you. So I've cut this one here mm -hmm. because what I wanted to show you is how generous you need to be. Yeah. These need to be longer. Right. And these need to be a bit bigger. Yeah. So that when I sew them together, I'm not mm -hmm. skimping on them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get the clips and clip. If you like that one, I just I do that. like that one oh, very much. Jolly good. That was me. And so now you've got a few fabrics here. Now, of course, that was the middle of this one. So you mm -hmm. can have that for the outside mm -hmm. if you wanted to. I, I like that too. Yeah. I do. And so um, these are the fabrics that I brought with me, just a few. But uh, there's also the big box that you've got here. So there's another clipped one. So off you go. But also, instead of pairing them, which is what this is, you could trim. Because that's what this job is, is trim. Oh, yes. Yeah, because we have trimming yes, to do. Yes, So we'll save the pairing for when, uh, for, the, for the fun part, when we've finished doing some. Okay. Now, do you, can you rotary cut sitting down? Or do you have to stand up? Because I usually have to stand up. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, no, but I'm, it's up to you. you sit, if you can sit down. Well, I am quite low. You, okay, you are. This is quite true. Low. Is she going to stand up? Do you I have to move up. the camera? I do. Oh, no, no, I'll sit down. I'll sit down. It's fine. I shall sit down. See if you can do it. If you can't do it, just checking it all fits. Yes, it does. Okay. 
I'm not going to give instructions. Oh, no, just, please do. No, no, I'm just going to give you quilting clips. Okay. I bought some more quilting clips. Why did I? I was doing a job that I needed quilting clips for. Because we had all of yours. Yes, and you had mine and I needed some more. So I thought, well, I'll just buy some more. So I've got like, so many quilting clips now. I can't remember what I, was, I needed them for. Okay, so no pressure. This girl's got two cameras on her. <laughs> no pressure, no I've pressure, I've done Jan. a cut already. Yeah, keep going. Let's make this a bit easier for you. I didn't cut. This, you need a new blade. So don't you? this cutting mat, yeah, was my cutting mat when I was in sixth form doing my A levels. Oh really? So this cutting mat must be at least oh, ten years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's forty years old, it's, and you can see there's big chunks. It's really hard. Well, uh, I've got a, a small a cutting mat about this size, and you can borrow it for as long as you need. Well, I think it's time to invest. I think forty years is quite a good. But even Money's so, if you, wanted, if you wanted to swing by the house sometime and pick up more scraps, a new blade for the rotary cutter and my spare small cutting mat, because I have got a fair few bits and pieces like this, as you might suppose, and you can come and help yourself to them. Thank you very much, Kate. But you definitely need a new blade. I do. Here. It is a bit. Yeah, because you, you don't want to have to be jagging at it twice. One. That's Two. 122. <laughs> we'll be there in no time. We'll be there in no time. Well, we oh, won't, yeah. but we will be there at the right time, won't we? Yeah. We will. Yeah. Whenever we get there, it'll be the right time. Absolutely. So do you always turn them, or is there a quicker way of doing this when you've got the hang of it? I do two sides. Uh-huh. Turn it so and do, do two do sides. Yes, I do. So do you turn... Um, I, I do that one, and then I do... And sometimes, because... Now, this is just me, quirkily me. Sometimes I find it quite hard to do that, so I'll go backwards. Oh, OK, let's try. Mm. Like that, really hard. Yeah, does that work? And then I yeah. swizz it round. Yeah, you definitely need a new blade. What shoddy tools I've left you with. <laughs> swizz it round, line it up, and do one, two again. And that's kind of like... Yeah. One, twice you're moving your ruler instead of four times. Mm. Well, I feel like I might have done it three times. Doesn't matter. Well, however it ends up is fine. Mm. 123! Oh, God. We're going to count them all like that, are we? <laughs> I, I added to this so you'll find little bits of material from our wedding bunting. Oh wow. Yeah. So we talked about this last time didn't we Jane? We did yes. Um, yeah that my mum started this before I was born and when I was 18 I, um, I, I did some more with some squares that she had kept or made and then I made some more and then in my 50th year I finished it <laughs> I put a fleece on it's lovely it's just lovely very meaningful piece oh this was the curtain in our caravan <laughs> it had squirrels and other animals on <laughs> oh it's gorgeous like that oh. Jamie on a recipe lovely can't wait to try it
did you enjoy that visit to my friends? I really enjoyed it and we put together uh, some more of these little pairings. I'm enjoying how we're doing this. They take a big box of my scraps away, they pair these up and pin them together with a binding clip and I bring them home and stitch them together like this and I'm not pressing them or trimming them because that's the job that they're enjoying doing and so I'll give them a big pile of these back when I've got them and then they can do that job. There's a lot of blocks to make, a lot, and uh, so I think that the next time you see this project will be when we've got all or at least most of them done and the girls will be back here starting to design this colour wash of uh, these very vibrant bright colours uh, onto my design board and then we'll start thinking about piecing them together. So we've got a long way to go uh, but there will be a video about that soon. There's a little playlist that we've made about this and you'll find that uh, on the uh, end card that's coming up now. But thank you very very much for watching. I'm really enjoying this project. It's going to be slow but that's fine. I actually like that about uh, sometimes about projects. The process not rather than the end result. But they're keen and I'm keen and we're going to carry on and f get as far on as we can with this this autumn. And um, we'll see you next time with this one, but next time here on the channel with something else. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and share this with someone who you think might enjoy it. And I'll see you next time.